tonight I'm bottling up some of these adorable little bears which I've never ever done before I normally always just sell my honey you know by the quart or by the pint just because I like glass mason jars and it's easy promotional opportunity brought to me speaking of promotion man I should have like Grugan's Bees swag on but hey I like this shirt too I like the message um, a promotional opportunity so I've been working with a couple of breweries well a brewery in the Houston area as well as a new up-and-coming cidery they specialize in apple cider and they are about to do their grand opening I've been working for them as a broker to help them source uh, treatment-free uh, Texas local honey. Now, the the reason I'm working as a broker is because I don't have the volume myself to supply them, and they understand that. I explained that to them right away when they asked me for, for bulk honey. I said, you know, I don't have any incentive to sell you a full five-gallon bucket because I sell out every year by the jar anyway, but I can help you find it from other people that will. And it's not that easy to find truly treatment-free beekeepers that sell in bulk. I know there's groups and stuff out there, and I didn't really reach out to them, but I'm, I'm working for the cidery right now. I sourced them one local bucket immediately uh, from a buddy that I knew that I know does everything exactly like me as far as being treatment-free. So I got them the one bucket, and so far that's all they needed. Anyway, they are about to do their grand opening, and as such, they are doing a couple of soft openings where they're getting the word out with you know different media outlets and... Uh, supporters, partners, whatever. They asked me if I would provide these little guys as a sample and a donation to gift bags. And I thought, well, yeah, sure, why not? You know, and they said, we want specifically your honey because you're a partner with us. Now, I'm not like a, a legal partner on paper or anything like that, but I am a supporter of what they're doing, I guess. Um, so they asked me first to you know, provide them as the little gift baggies, and then they said, actually, you know what, we should probably just have you come to the soft opening as well, and then you can meet everyone. You're giving away the honey, you might as well meet all these people. Now, he referred to them as media influencers. I don't know what that means, but hey, look, if I can get in with a couple of the big people that, I don't know, the city of Houston follows, that would be excellent, because that's what I need. I don't pay for any advertising. I've tried, and it doesn't work. Um... Well, it doesn't work for me. Anyway, I run totally on word of mouth. Um, so I'm really excited about this. So I just want to show you, <laughs> none of that really matters. I just want to show you how I'm doing it, how I'm putting it in these little tiny bears because you can't just run it out the gate valve here on your honey bucket. That doesn't work. What I'm doing is running it out the gate valve into a funnel with a little tiny neck. And that goes into the mouth of my maple syrup bottle. Oh, maybe I shouldn't show Aunt Jemima their trademarks and whatnot. Anyway, fill up the syrup bottle and that gives you a nice little squirt top. Now this is a valuable life skill that I learned growing up on a farm reusing syrup bottles and Dawn dish soap bottles to do things like um, you know, small amounts of motor oil, like in lawnmowers or bar oil for your chainsaw, those sorts of things that like to make a mess. So I just wanted to share this idea with you guys, really, in case you hadn't thought of it. I'm going to run out. I bought these little bears on Amazon. They were like, gosh, was it eight? Like eight dollars for 25 of them. Um... I don't know, maybe I could have found them cheaper somewhere else. I wasn't being too picky because I needed them in a hurry. They just offered me this opportunity um, about a week ago. And I'll be honest with you guys, I had actually sold out of honey. I sold my last bucket. I sold an entire bucket to a brewery. 
And I only did that because that brewery paid me full retail price for the five gallons as if I had put it all into quart jars and sold it by the gallon. And so, you know, going back to my original message, I normally don't sell honey in bulk because I sell out in small retail volumes at premium price, so why would I? But he was willing to pay full price, so he got my last bucket of honey. Why would I go to the effort of drawing it all up and selling it all person to person other than, I guess, word of mouth and meeting more people? But that just doesn't really make that much business sense. So anyway, I had sold out, and then the cidery called me and asked me to do this. So I actually had to go back to another buddy of mine, uh, Neil. I've mentioned Neil before. Neil and I partner on his bees. I take care of them for him, and I harvest the honey, and we harvest on shares. Neil is another buddy that I know does all of his honey truly treatment free because technically they're his bees but I take care of them for him. Neil had two buckets of honey from this past summer's harvest and he hadn't even touched them yet. So Neil thankfully <laughs> said yeah go by my shop and you can get a bucket of honey get what you need out of it and as a return favor for the gallon that I'm taking it's about a gallon that I'm going to take for him to do this as a return favor, I'm going to jar up the whole bucket for him because he hasn't even had a chance to do that himself yet. So now the part to try to keep it clean and messy free. We're going to switch our funnel over here. We're going to crack open this gate now again. You guys can see this. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe. Steady as she goes. Ooh, too fast. Way too fast. I did have to warm the honey. It's been cold enough and it's been in the bucket for mm, about six months. But I think I got it just right. Oh shoot, that's gonna make a mess. Oh goodness, oh goodness. I made a boo-boo. I forgot about the overflow in the bottle here. Oh my, oh my, you guys get to see this live action. Oh my god, what a dummy. Okay, well now that I showed you guys my wonderful idea and I got distracted talking to you about it, now I have a mess to clean up. Gosh, darn it. I'll get back to you. Alright, yeah, so, valuable little lesson there. Do not fill your syrup bottle too full, and don't get distracted talking to the camera while you're trying to show just how clean and neat this whole thing can be. One other thing, this works really well because this is a compressible squeeze bottle. So when you start to fill and you get close to the top, you want to keep squeezing the bottle steady. Don't let it glug halfway through. Keep squeezing the whole time because then right when you get to the tip top and you're ready to let go, let in on the bottle. and it'll suck the honey back in actually and keep it from dripping on the rim. I wish I had a bottle, a uh, gate valve to do that because the bottling bucket always wants to drip. So anyway, I think you guys have seen enough to make you laugh at me a little bit, but hopefully also learn something. So we're going to go ahead and cut this off and get this finished up. And I just might go to bed sometime tonight.